Now, in all of this, two families are forever changed. We're learning more about the two Methodist employees senselessly killed on Saturday. Suzanne Bruner is live this morning at Methodist Hospital with their story. Suzanne, the community there, really everywhere, angry and heartbroken. Yeah, angry and heartbroken this morning, Kara. Fellow hospital workers here are remembering two brave women who lost their lives in this shooting Saturday morning. Police have identified the victims as 63 year old Annette Flowers. You see pictured on the left and 45 year old Jacqueline Pokua. Annette was a nurse, a mother and grandmother who loved her daughters and grandkids. She recently renovated her home and was looking forward. She was really excited for retirement. A nurse at the hospital told us Annette was a great caring nurse who loved her job. And then this is Jacqueline, a social worker who came from Ghana 20 years ago. Friends called her the calm in chaos. Jacqueline was also a mother to a beautiful young boy. Her smile, her personality, how friendly or how help, 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 helpful that um, she was. So I think that's if, if I should use the word one, one, one word to describe her, I would say maybe her smile. Because when I look at the picture, she has a very beautiful smile. Messages of support are pouring in from across the country. Here, the Texas Nurses Association says our hearts are broken. They're, these are our colleagues and friends. The entire TNA family grieves this loss, and we extend our condolences to the families and coworkers of the victims. The CEO of the TNA is also saying no person should ever have to fear for their life going to work. The National Nurses United Organization is now calling on U.S. lawmakers to pass a workplace violence prevention legislation. Kara.